What's going on YouTube? Spencer D here and me and my girlfriend Miss Kathy here are going to go on a cruise. It is a carnival cruise on the Panorama. We are currently driving there right now. We have like an hour and 20 minutes to get on the ship and if we don't make it, it is definitely my fault. But I'll explain that later. So stay tuned Spencer D and I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, it says 28 minutes here. Are we going to make it in time Kathy? Yes, we will. See if we make it. You're trying to get in on us over here? What? this cruise or what? Yes. There it is, the ship finally walking. What do you call this thing? The pathway? The bridge to the ship? What are we gonna do first thing we get on the ship? What are we gonna do? We're gonna eat. We're gonna go <laughs> munch because we're so hungry. Literally was packing this morning. Such a relief to finally get on the ship, you guys. It will, it will only go to 8, 10, and 12. Pretty epic out here. Can't wait to get a tan and some margaritas. You know what? Eat. All right, so I had like two plates, but now we're off to go get some desserts. You guys seen this thing right here? It's in there on my See what it's doing? In the mid ship. What's up guys? We are on our way to go check out the room right now after we just munched. Finally got on this ship. 32, right? <laughs> well, we found the room. 3248. We just don't have a key, so now we gotta figure out how to get in our room. Otherwise, we are gonna be sleeping in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> so after a quick detour at guest services we got our room keys oh my goodness apparently we didn't push hard enough on that but here's the room you guys check this out all right so there was somebody in the room we were supposed to be in this is a little ridiculous we got a new room. We're gonna go check that one out. Four more decks up. There you go, bitch. Finally made it. Mask off, finally. Glasses down. Got some TV here, you guys. Check this out. Got a deck here on the Carnival Cruise, bro. A deck here on the Carnival Cruise, bro. Look at this. This is the bay. What do you think, Kathy? Much? I'll take it. Yeah. This is epic. Back in the room here. You got the uh, tiny little cramped space, but it's okay. Sprinkler head right there, you guys. Smoke detector right there. Picture, couch, right? Some closet space. What do I do with these? Open that. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, look, random closet space. Over here, we got the restroom and the shower. Look at this business, you guys. Spencer D. I'll be on the cruise all week, baby. 
what's up guys all right so now that i'm on the boat here i'm probably gonna put down the camera here i basically just want to settle in and relax you guys i'm gonna pick you guys up tomorrow i'm gonna take you guys on some fun we're supposed to be down in mexico and we're supposed to be uh trying to escape hurricane nora at the same time so stay tuned if it gets a little hairy you guys best believe i'll be filming all the action you know what i'm saying what's up babe hi <laughs> What's up YouTube? Spencer D here. Day two. We made it to Mexico. Where are we at in Mexico, babe? Ensenada. Ensenada, you guys. Check this out right here. Doorway out to Ensenada's harbor, babe. Look at this. Pretty epic, you guys. So we're going to take you on a little tour around Ensenada and get into some shenanigans and drink some cerveza. So stay tuned, Spencer D. I'll see you in the next clip. I recommend getting a big breakfast on board and then heading out and making the most of your day. Lastly, a reminder. It's a pretty big ship, wouldn't you say? Holy crikey. Officially in Mexico and they bring out the cavalry and drug dogs. Look at me. Hey, hey. Hey. As you can see, they take things seriously around here in Mexico. So if you come to Mexico, you better make sure you're watching your P's and Q's <laughs> and buying cerveza. <laughs> and there's boats in the distance. Smells very authentic down here. You got artwork everywhere. There's trash. There's noise, there's Mexicans speaking Spanish. Straight up Mexico. Better be sure you can run fast down here because uh, you, know, you just never know what could happen. Wouldn't you say? Big oh, there's a cockroach on the ground? Look yeah. this cockroach, you guys. There's cockroaches in Mexico, look at that. So even bugs here, giant bugs in Mexico. If you guys don't know by now, you should definitely be checking this place out. It should be on your bucket list at some point. I'm going to keep you on this tour here of Ensenada. Spencer D, I'll see you in the next clip. All right, so let me try this Mexican squirt. See if it's just as good as the United States here. Squirt El de Toranja. <laughs> about time for some beer though okay so now we're gonna go check out a mexican pharmacy as you can see here it says mas que una farmacia we're gonna go see what kind of fun uh, we can find in there okay that pharmacy was kind of a bust so over we're over here to find another one right there we're gonna go see what kind of goodies they have inside you guys so stay tuned probably bring the camera in there you know what i mean All right, so having trouble speaking a little bit of Spanish, so we're going to keep running around to these pharmacies till I find what I'm looking for. Right now, we're actually gonna go into this cool spot called HL Casa, where there's cigars, coffee, and more. And they have the legend himself up here on the wall, so that's kind of what drew us in. So let me show you. Who is that, babe? Who is that right there? Do you know who that is? No. It's called Jack. Jack Nicholson right there. Jack. Jack, mother trucking Nicholson. Damn, it smells good. Do you have anything you recommend? It's for you or it's for a gift? Uh, for me, just okay. to smoke today. Okay, do you like uh, mild, medium, strong? Mild, more on the mild side for a cigar should be fine, but if I could just walk around and smoke it would be great. Something small like this one, what do you think of this one? That one, even if it's a, a slim one, it's a medium to strong. Oh, is it? Okay. Do you have any like this size? Mm -hmm. or, or maybe something like that? You could try the Coronas Major. Mm -hmm. You could try the Ecuador side or the Roman Culeta Numero Tres. I'm gonna go with that one because I like the package right there. Let's do this one. Can you light it up for me too? Yeah. Trim it? Okay. When in Mexico, I feel it's a necessity to find some of the slower pleasures of life. Like relaxing and smoking or relaxing and drinking or just eating tacos. You know what I mean? 
just to get a little more of the Hispanic experience, to have a little more authentic experience for the fun, because we're here for the fun, and the Carnival Cruise. All right, so we're at Pharmacy Numero Trace here. We're going to see if we can find all the goodies that I came here to look for and yeah, sneak them back onto our cruise ship. Oh my goodness, you guys, striking out in these pharmacies. But you know, at least they have some uh, cool shops and stuff like that. In Sonata, Mexico. Can't go wrong here, you can get a sombrero. You can be uh, basically as Mexican as the Mexicans here. Check this sombrero out right here. Oh shit. Maybe I'll get one. Maybe I'll get one. I don't know. Spencer D, I'll see you guys in the next clip. More shops here in Ensenada. We're still looking for a vape here for my girlfriend, Kathy. So we can uh, enjoy our stay even more. Hello, Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to Ensenada! Very nice, thank you! Getting a warm welcome here in Ensenada, you guys. Just kind of cruising around. Found some goodies at the pharmacy. Finally, we had a winner. So, not necessarily going to show you about that. We're going to look for some uh, Snoop Dogg here in a minute. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Spencer D, I'll see you when I find Snoop Dogg here in Ensenada. Hey guys. And this... And this... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think if it's... You get a Red Bull flavor? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. About to grub on some authentic Mexican tacos and some beer, you guys. Let me show you what these things look like here in a second. These amazing tacos. She had a margarita and I got some tecate here. I would say these are pretty freaking bomb tacos. You can literally taste how good the carne asada is, how fresh it tastes, honestly. And then there's tons of these people walking around. I got, I got Mexican breakfast. Hey. You work on Ensenada, I got my little bracelet. This is bracelet. I got the nasty bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I got. I got that. You name it a piece of rice. Hey, I see it. Is that little rice? Yeah. Make it the name. That's pretty cool. He's got one over here that says just the tip, yo. I got it for your friends. <laughs> oh, I eat ass. Oh my god. You want yo? You want yo? Ah! <laughs> All right, so we finished eating, and now we're at this place called Papa's and Beer. Right, you can see right here. It's a famous spot here in Ensenada where you come to party and to drink beer. Obviously, they got a really cool little store. We're gonna check out you guys, and we're gonna keep cruising around Ensenada till we get back on the ship. Found all sorts of goodies and things like that here in Ensenada. You guys would again. I want to say this again. Would totally recommend coming to Mexico. So I'm gonna keep showing you guys around and showing you on a little tour of what me and my girlfriend are doing here in Ensenada. So stay tuned, Spencer D, and I'll see you in the next clip. Right. I'll tell them you'll see them in the next clip. I will. Hey, if you guys didn't know this, there's a friggin' G wagon down here. This is a Mercedes Benz. Look at this, a Benz, a V8, all black leather interior, guys. Down here in Mexico, like a hundred and twenty thousand dollar car. Holy shit! What is that? The cartel or what? You think that's the cartel, babe? Could be. <laughs> I'll go find out for you. We're gonna figure this shit out one step at a time. Spends a DLC in the next clip. What do you think of these? You wanna go for a ride? A little, sm a little smelly, wouldn't you say? A little smelly? Smells like my childhood. Oh my. <laughs> Only in Mexico. So we found the Mexican clown here. We had to go say hi to this guy. Get a little close up, I'm gonna get a picture with it. En Sanada, home of the enchilada. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't like enchiladas? No, I don't like enchiladas. She doesn't like enchiladas here in Ensenada. Just in case you guys were wondering. In case you guys were wondering how big these ships are, they're absolutely freaking massive and you walk right next to them it feels like a skyscraper or something like that got those lifeboats up there you got, wait, you got... 
<laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy you guys finished here with Ensenada getting back here on the cruise ship so I'll probably see you guys up in the room or probably out for some drinks or something like that Spencer Dia <laughs> What is the first thing you do when you get back on a cruise ship? Well, I'll tell you, you go straight directly to the Cerveza and beach and cave. Oh my goodness. Back to the room here to take a nap, you guys. Spencer D, I'll either see you in the next video or the next clip. I'm out. There's Kathy right there. Y'all look at Kathy. <laughs> oh, <laughs>